I wanted to talk briefly and, and give a short overview to the California Coastal Commission. Um, the commission was created by the voters of the state of California in 1972. And it was made permanent by the legislature in the California Coastal Act when that was uh, enacted in 1976. The Coastal Commission is charged with protecting and enhancing California's coast and ocean for all generations, according to the commission's website. The Coastal Commission is an independent quasi-judicial state agency, and it's quasi-judicial because it has enforcement capabilities as well as appellate authority over development projects that have been approved by local governments in certain specified geographic areas of the state where the Coastal Commission has jurisdiction. The Coastal Commission has 12 voting members that are appointed equally by the governor, the Senate Committee on Rules, and the Speaker of the Assembly. In addition, six of the voting commissioners are locally elected officials, and the other six are appointed from the public at large. The Coastal Commission also has three ex officio members who are from the uh, Resources Agency, the Transportation Agency, and the State Lands Commission here in California. The Coastal Commission works closely with coastal cities and counties to plan and regulate the use of both land and water in the coastal zone. And that coastal zone is developed by the legislature and includes land as well as a three mile band of the ocean. Now that said, the San Francisco Bay Area is actually not regulated by the Coastal Commission. Rather development there is regulated by BCDC, the Bay Conservation and Development Commission. Pursuant to federal law, the Coastal Commission actually has regulatory control over all federal activities, as well as federally licensed, permitted, or assisted activities. And these include the Outer Continental Shelf for oil and gas le uh, leasing, exploration and development, as well as the designated of, uh, designation of dredged uh, material disposal sites in the ocean military projects that are located at coastal uh, facilities, and several other specified activities found under federal law. And the public is able to participate in Coastal Commission hearings, as well as the ability for them to talk to Coastal Commissioners regarding proposed development activities and securing permits for those different types of activities. <clears throat> 